welcome back to another video on Star Equestrian with the one and only Dash Bella. Um, so if you're looking at my character and my horse right now, a lot of stuff has happened since the last episode. So I have been doing a lot of training and I managed to get a lot of extra tack. Um, I changed my clothes because I found out that if we go over to the character bit here, I didn't buy any clothes, but there were like free ones that I could use. So I just like put a whole bunch of free outfits and changed a whole bunch. I put a helmet because helmets are really important. So yes, I put a helmet. Um, I upgraded the tack on my horse as well. So remember last time we had like a few pieces of blue tack. So I now have a lot of blue tack from opening chests because I literally spent like the, the past couple days just running around and opening chests to get tack. Um, and my horse is kind of good now. Like Ghost Pepper, if you can see right now, this is her with her tack. She is... Wait, what level is she? She's level 19, which is a big bump up from our last episode. And she's got like tw 20, excuse me, 20 and almost all of her stats. So I'm really happy with where we are in the game, but that's not the important thing today, okay? The important thing is if we have a look at my currency at the top right hand corner, do you see what I see? I see, okay, I see some gems. And I also see some keys. So remember last episode, I think we got stuck at seven keys. So I managed to get two keys for doing the weekly competition, which is here. So like every week there's like some competitions where if you do them and get like a certain rank, you can get keys. Um, I got 101 to 1000 because I just started on this account. Um, and I could only do one course. So now I could probably do two, but it means I got two keys, which, you know, if, you, if we look at the top, we've got nine keys now. I just need one more key to get another silver key. And then I did a whole bunch of like side quests that were not side quests or main quests. They were like optional quests. I did a whole bunch of those and we're at 5,000 gems. So we've got so many gems to do pulls. Um, yeah, like lots of exciting things. I'm super sorry about the really long intro. Um, oops, my computer's like kind of lagging here. But yeah, so lots of stuff has happened. And we are going to do one thing first. So we need to go to Harry. I think it was Harry who was in the main story. Because I want this key. So we're going to get that key. Um, that's going to put us at 10 keys. I think Harry's in... Yeah, he's here. Yeah, so we're going to get the 10 keys. And then we're going to do our pull. Because I want to get new horses i want to get the new tag and before anyone asks we are not going to pull for royal horses um and let me explain why so the reason why i don't want to pull for royal horses yet is because royal horses do not give you the option of getting tack royal horses are exactly the same as a regular like non-royal horse the only difference is that they look pretty and you're guaranteed a horse for every pull and there's like higher rates for stuff so yeah no royal horses we're just going to pull for tack and um and standard horses because i really want that equipment here's harry hey fancy pants that was some decent riding out there thanks are you still what are you still doing here i'm waiting to watch lindy's event by the way, apparently Phil's horse Barclay has been acting up. Maybe it has something to do with all these transformations. Transformations? Wait, hang on a minute. Harry, what do you mean transformations? I'm a bit confused. Why don't you go see him and try to get to the bottom of all this? I'm thoroughly confused. But we got our key. Yeah, so we got the key. Uh, and in case anyone's wondering, I know in our last... <clears throat> our last video... Uh, the quest was to get two stars, I think, in a cross-country event. I accidentally did that when I was training Ghost. So, yeah, we're not going to do that again because, you know, we we got the key. I, I want to see what's happened with Barclay. Like, I'm actually really interested in Barclay's story. Hi, Dashabella. So glad to see you're here. Barclay has been acting up strange all day. He's refusing to listen and I can't get him to go home. Maybe he'll become self-aware? <laughs> That's funny. Horses are much bigger and stronger than us. People forget that it's merely through training that they submit to our will. W wow, that's kind of true. 
Well, that illusion of control seems to have been broken. Maybe he just wants to go for a ride. I'm too old to ride him anymore. But why do you have a horse then? I'd love to take Barclay for a ride. That'll be fun. Wait up, big fella. I'll bring him back to your place, Phil. Oh, are we just going to do another escort? Oh, we ride Barclay! Gosh, I hope Barclay doesn't break again. Hold on. We'll ride Barclay back. Let's go! And Barclay is a challenging horse. That is actually kind of cool to know that he's a challenging horse. Okay, I know we've got keys and I was supposed to like open stuff with it, but we'll just quickly ride Barclay because I think Barclay deserves our attention. He's a lovely horse um, and he doesn't have stamina. That is okay. I wish my horse had that, but that's fine. Ghost, Ghost is fine in her own lovely way. All right, what are we doing up here with Barclay? Why are we seeing the statue? Oh, you like that, don't you, boy? How about we go get some of your favorite food as well? I bet you'd love that. If I recall, it was either apples, watermelon, or carrots. Search for Barclay's favorite food. Check the map. Okay, um... So are we just... Oh, no, no, no. I don't mean to click this. So are we just going to go collect a whole bunch of foods? I guess we are now. Hmm. Barclay, Barclay. All right, we are over here. Okay, so we can go to the east and then we'll teleport back to the checkpoint and see that other, the other thing. So we need to go this way. So what's your favorite food, Barclay? Apples, was it apples, carrots, and hey, there's one of the chests open. Apples, watermelon, uh, and carrots, there we go. Apples, watermelons, or carrots. What is this? This is a carrot? Yes, it is. Feed Barclay the carrot. All right, hang on, I'm gonna, ah, need to dismount. Feed the carrot. Oh, all right. Does Barclay like this carrot? Hmm, you don't like carrots, do you? No. <laughs> Barclay's a big horse, so I assume he has a very deep name. Silly me, let's go get your favorite food instead. Okay, what's... Okay, so that's not, not a good food. We need to go to the right. Let's go this way. So carrots are a no-no. Is this watermelon? That's a watermelon. If I see a watermelon, I know it's a watermelon. Ah! Okay, Barclay does not have the best turn. All right, feed. Do you like watermelons? He's so angry, look at his ears. Here you go. Are you feeling better now? See, I remembered your favorite snack. Let's get you back to Phil now, and I'll tell him to buy some watermelons for you. Oh, watermelons! Oh gosh, she's actually angry. Yeah, Barclay is a challenging horse. All right, so where's Phil? Oh, we have to go back to town. Okay, so let's just fast travel. We'll talk to Phil. Once we're done with Phil, I'm gonna actually do this pull because I've been hyping this up, not just for you guys, but for myself as well. Um, I've also been trying to not hype myself too much because you know, everyone dreams of getting a five star within their first couple pulls, and it is a possibility. Uh, but unfortunately, the odds are against my favor. <laughs> Try hitching Barclay on that post over there. Poor Barclay just hitched the post every day. Can I adopt him? You obviously don't care about him, Phil. All right, there you go, Barclay. Well, I can tell already that you've managed to cheer him right up. Thanks, Dashabella. You sure have a great way with horses. You know, if I'm honest, I was hoping he was going to transform into one of those fantasy horses and make me rich. Phil, why are you so mean? Phil, you can't just... Oh my gosh, Phil is so horrible. Let me adopt Barclay. I don't believe you'd sell him, Phil. You care for him too much. Oh my gosh. You've always been, you've always seen right through me, Dashabella. But then again, an early retirement doesn't sound half bad. Ha ha. Yeah, ha ha, Phil. Well, take care. I'm going to go see what Barclay's up to. All right, I'll go chat to Joy and see what she knows about these fantasy horses. Oh my gosh. Phil, why are you so mean? Like, he's right next to Barclay. Oh, I might sell Barclay if he turned into a fantasy horse. Like, oh my goodness, I'd hate to have an owner like him. Okay, let's... Let's have a happy moment. 
and actually finally do the silver key pull. So remember, we're not doing royal pulls because it doesn't give you tack. Um, the only benefit, so if anyone starts playing Star Equestrian, I only suggest doing the royal stable pulls once you are like in the late game where you have a bunch of tack, you have a bunch of horses and you have a bunch of mastery because yeah this is like just not worth it unless you get maybe a fantasy or a legendary in the first pull but the odds of that is pretty low so let's do this one we could do one i'll think about it all right let's do this 10 pull let's go who are we gonna get so this one is supposed to be a horse for our first pull and it's purple so we've got a four star I'm really curious, like, what breed do we get first? And also the benefit, we get a whole bunch of blue tack. And this is so important because this blue tack is going to be really helpful if we need, like, a boost in stats for something. So there's all that blue tack. Oh, no. oh my gosh, I totally forgot how much we're going to get. And we got a Kyger Mustang! Oh my gosh, look how pretty you are! Oh, I love it! I love it! It's, it's name is Jenny! Okay, Jenny doesn't... Oh my god, I actually do not know what to call this horse. Oh my gosh, you are so pretty! Hold on, let's, let's stop. I have to look at this horse. This horse is gorgeous. Okay, and it also has an ability. I don't care about that. I know I can do two more pulls, but I need to see this new horse. Our first buddy for Ghost Pepper. Look how pretty Jenny is. So this has to be like, what, a blue roan? Is this a blue roan? It looks like a blue roan and it has lovely green eyes. Oh my gosh, what a pretty girl. And to me, she does like I feel like she looks like a girl for me. Like, she's definitely a mare. Just like Ghost Pepper. Oh my gosh. And she's challenging as well. Oh my gosh. Why do I keep getting these sassy horses? Oh my gosh, guys. We already got such a good horse. Hang on. I just want to quickly ride her. Look at her. Oh, she is perfect. I love that she's almost got four stockings. I know the front two are a little scuffed, but she is... Oh my gosh, she is such a stunner for our first our first new horse. Okay, hold on. We've got a we're not done yet. We've still got two more to go. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay, okay. Let's go. So our next pull is either going to be another horse or tack. I would prefer tack. But if we get another horse, that's fine too. By the way, I'm so sorry guys. I think I have some sinus issues right now. We have another purple horse, so it's going to be a four star. Is it going to be the last one again? All right, we've got some tag. I kind of don't care about this. What did we get? We got horseshoes. Okay, this is great because I really, really want that purple tack because purple tack gives you a better bonus than blue tack. Um, so blue tack, I think, only gives you... Um, you get one full bonus and like a half bonus for a stat, but for purple tack, you get two full bonuses. And oh, why is it on four? Why is the number kind of weird? Uh, game, are you okay? I think the game's like super trippy. How can we got extra? It was supposed to be 10. What happened? Okay, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna complain. We're just gonna do this extra pull. Last one. All right, please give us something good. Please give us something good. Yellow? Oh, it's another purple. It's fine. So we're gonna get a horse. It'll be good if we get two. Oh my gosh, we got a horse off the bat and it's an American paint! Oh my gosh. I actually love the coat. Oh, wow, so handsome. Okay, we'll take a look after this. So was it the first horse? Are we all just going to get blue now? If we get another purple, I'd be so happy. Okay, no, so we've got a new horse. It's lightning. Oh, it's another breed. Oh, I love it. And its ability is use 15% less stamina while galloping or sprinting. That is actually a helpful ability. Um, yeah, this is... This is weird. Should I... I have a key, guys. 
Should I just, should I just press this? I'm just gonna press it. <gasps> what are we gonna get? Like, it'd be so funny if we get a yellow now, but I'm very sure it's a purple. Yep, it's a purple. Okay, what do we get? It's tag! Oh my gosh, it's a horse! <gasps> and it's a pintabian as well! Pint, 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 oh gosh, my pronunciation is so bad. It's like a, it's a paint Arabian. There we go. Calamity! another horse oh my gosh guys we have so many new horses in our stable we got three new horses and we got one purple tag oh wow okay hang on so we're gonna go to the stable gosh we got so lucky i don't know who to ride anymore oh they're all pretty so we have okay firstly ghost pepper she's she's our og she's the original horse she is the queen of this stable then we have calamity the pintabian who is actually a really really pretty looking horse hang on and you're social as well so it's a friendly arabian oh look how happy she is or is it he i'm not sure if we're gonna make it a he or a she but oh my gosh look at the patterning on her too she feels like a she Definitely a mare, I feel. She's pretty. Hang on, let's let's get on her. Oh, let's have a quick look. Yeah, she's really pretty. Wow. Oh my goodness. So is she like a? She kind of looks like a splash, like just a splash on the backside. <laughs> oh, I don't know who to ride, guys. We have so many new horses. All right, and then we had Jenny, and then we had Lightning. Lightning's super handsome too. Where are you? There you are. So we have this, I guess like just, I mean, technically it's a it's a paint, like a chestnut paint, but it's a very nice warm chestnut color. And then what personality? You're social as well. So we got two challenging and two social horses. Well, I think we did a very good job today with who we managed to get. And I love all the new horses too. Like, I can't... There's no horses that I would say are quote-unquote trash. They're all just really, really good-looking horses. Oh my gosh. I don't know who to ride. I don't know who to love first. I want to love everybody. Oh, this is so hard. Okay, I... I love Jenny, but I'm not keen on riding another challenging horse. So we're either going to have to pick between Lightning or or Calamity. And, oh, I don't know. I kind of like Lightning. I really do like how Lightning looks. And look at him. He even has like a Lightning, like a, a Lightning kind of marking on his front left hoof. We'll ride Lightning. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh my gosh, and he's a social horse as well. I love social horses because they are so easy to bond with. Oh my gosh, look at this handsome boy. Okay, let's go do this quest. Hi sugar, I was just thinking about you. How's the ranch going? Have you managed to get settled in? Yes, I rather enjoyed making it more on my own. Come have a look. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay, guys, so since the last episode as well, I, I've been doing a whole bunch of competitions and I've earned so much money. I want to show you guys my ranch really quickly. I think I've done a really good job on making sure that my ranch looks extra pretty. So if we accidentally have any guests, it's fully furnished. Um, although it's only furnished with, I think, like the lowest level stuff because when I was decorating before, I think I was under level 20. So you don't get new stuff until like level 20 onwards. <clears throat> okay, so here's our house. Can you see what I've done with it? I put a couple jumps. I put some cones out so we can do a little bit of weaving. I've even put some barrels out too. I almost put um, a little barrel, like a barrel racing course out here, but the property is just too small unless I get rid of the jumps. Um, but yeah, welcome to my house. I have put some cute little stones. I don't know what these are. They're not like cobblestones or anything, but you know, like the stones you put in front of your house. And then I have a fully decked out house, guys. I worked really hard on this. I want to shut the door. Ah, And you could technically take the drinks too, so I'll close the door. So I've have I've got a little table here. I have my kitchen set up. I've got a toaster. I have a kettle. Um, I don't have a stove, but like maybe I just cook things on the can like the 
the fireplace, like <laughs> just chuck a roast chicken there and start cooking it. I've got my bed, I put a little carpet down as well to make it cozy and then I just have like one little, one little cupboard. But yeah, here's my house. I even put a picture up here as well. Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's just a cowboy, but you know, you kind of have to put something in there to give it like a little bit of Red Dead Redemption, if you know what I mean. And yeah. Oh, and we also have our tiny little barn. So here is Ghost Pepper. She lives here. No one has this occupied yet. And I kind of think we're going to have to put lightning. So lightning is going to be Ghost Pepper's companion. So yeah, here's the... Here's my house. I hope you guys like it. Maybe maybe in game one day I'll just throw like a random ra uh, ranch party and then everyone can just like, you know, enjoy themselves and come over. But yeah, welcome to my little cozy home. All right, so let's talk to Joy. I'm kind of wondering what does Joy want to do with us? Wow, I like what you've done with it. It's still humble beginnings, but it's getting there. I've enjoyed transforming it piece by piece. Speaking of transforming, what do you know about fantasy horses? Ah, I was wondering when you would bring it up. It was only a matter of time before you pieced it all together. Where are these mysterious horses coming from? Harry said that the fantasy horses appear to be regular horses from your auction house that, that have been transformed. Well, I'm not sure if you've read Debbie's novel about the fantasy horses in Evertail, but there's some truth to her claims. I've been looking for old documents, three books to be exact, in this very location, hence I dug up the land and demolished the old ranch. Did you find anything? I managed to find one of the three books. It holds many mysteries, including those of the fantasy horses. It provided me with the location of the sweet spring water. It was hidden in plain sight, concealed as the town fountain. So is that how you've been transforming your horses? Well, yes, but the book refers to it as them being reborn, something about their true potential and purpose, unlocking their original design, that they were designed for something far greater. However, they don't become perfect all of a sudden, but rather have the potential to be. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I've had some accidental success. That explains all the new fantasy horses in Heartside. Yes, but I cannot replicate the process. I had other horses drink from the fountain afterwards, and it didn't work. The answer must be in the other two books. Sorry, Joy, my phone's ringing. One moment. Hello? Dasha? You must come see me quick. Someone has spotted Snowdrop. Oh, it's Snowdrop. Honey, don't waste any time trying to explain. Winston talks so loud, I could hear the whole thing. Go. My gosh, Snowdrop. Okay, hang on. Where is... Where's our horse? Here we go. Let's go, Lightning. We're keeping the name Lightning, by the way. I feel like it's just so perfect for, for Lightning. Oh, hang on. Thanks for getting here so quick. I've got some great news. Debbie saw Snowdrop in Redwood earlier. If you're quick, you might be able to follow his tracks. Oh, that's great. I'll leave at once. Thanks, Winston. You better let me know if you find anything. I'm dying to find out. Oh my gosh, Winston. So helpful. Okay, before we go, I want to quickly attack up Lightning because Lightning, unfortunately, is not leveled up. And it'll be great if we can get some stats on him as well. Oh, here's the new horseshoes. Hmm. So it gives acceleration and stamina. Right, let's do this so we have some stats and everything for now. I'll level up my equipment later. So we need to go over here. Oh, next to the fast travel. Soup. Follow the clues. Hold on, where's the clues? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I ran right past them. Okay, what is this? Oh, little footprints and they're glowing footprints as well okay let's find a snowdrop snowdrop where are you i don't think we can go too fast otherwise yeah we are too far in front so we just gotta follow oh my gosh they're so pretty oh okay we're just gonna trot along i suppose oh what a beautiful horse I get so jealous when I see beautiful horses. Alright, we're running over here. 
Oh, little spooky. It's fine, lightning. It's fine. Let's keep going. Where are these footprints taking us? Alright, examine. This is Snowdrop's hoofprint, alright. It has his signature snowflake imprint. Okay, and then I guess we continue to follow this invisible horse. <laughs> it can't be Snowdrop though. It'll be kind of crazy if it was. Alright, we're going this way. Oh no, the bear is out. Oh gosh, bear, go away, bear. <gasps> okay, so the bear in this game is actually scary because if the bear catches you, because it will chase you if you get too close. If the bear catches you, he kicks you out of the redwood and I think you lose some bonding with your horse. So the bear is actually a little bit scary. Oh, and there's like an effect on the edge of the screen where the screen goes red. I think one day we are going to have to have a bit of a run in with the bear, but yeah, he is, he is definitely a very scary animal to be around. Okay, where is... <gasps> Over here? I see this snowy effect. Examine. The grass here has been foraged recently, and it's much colder than the rest. Snowdrop must have been hiding in the redwood all this time. I can see why. It's easy to get lost in here. Nevertheless, find someone. Oh, nevertheless, find someone. Okay, I read that wrong. Let's go. Let's go. Alrighty, just keep following these little, little feet. You know, I think out of all the places in... Oh, there's wild horses. Out of all the places in um, Star Equestrian, I actually think the Redwood has to be one of my favorite places. Oh, wait, gold? Why is it gold here? There seem to be more horse tracks here. These weren't left by Snowdrop as they each have their own unique imprint. Uh, are we gonna follow these? That's someone's horse, right? Yeah, that looks like someone's horse. I was like, hang on a minute, is that a quest horse? Alright, we go over here. Wait, where are we going? Oh, here. Incredible! The hoof prints seem to have left a colour residue in the soil that looks like glitter. I can't believe I haven't noticed this before. Oh, wait. The colour seems to be fading. It seems to only linger for a short while. That means these tracks must be fresh. Uh-oh. What's happening with Snowdrop? Hang on, where are we going? Oh, there. I feel a little bit lost. <laughs> Am I bad? Oh, that must be the next quest checkpoint. That weird thing on the tree. Like, it's glittering. Right? Is this the thing? Yeah, it is the thing. This tree has lost some of the bark here. Oh, there's flecks of glitter in the bark too. Must have happened when one of the horses rubbed up against it. Girly, excuse me, did you see how high that marking is on the tree? Are you talking about an elephant? That's not a horse? Oh my goodness, rubbed up against the tree. Yeah, sure, Dashabel. <laughs> oh my gosh, what horse is that at all? Oh, okay, hang on, where are we going? We are, oh, we are still following these little prints. Okay, down the hill. Down the hill. Good job, Lightning. Good job. My goodness, guys. I'm actually really digging Lightning. He's a great guy to ride. And he's not so stubborn like Ghost is sometimes. Because I know Ghost can be a bit of a pain in the bum. Especially if she runs into animals. So since I've been training her, sometimes she actually just refuses when she sees some animals. And she just won't move for like 5 to 10 seconds. It's kind of insane. Looks like he left the forest, heading west, and the herd seemed to have followed close behind. I better get back and share what I found with Winston. He would never forgive me if I didn't share this news with him. Oh no, that's it? We should have followed the herd. Oh no. Alright, let's go back to Winston. Winston's here. So yeah, I mean, we did get some progress on where Snowdrop is, but 
It's kind of sad we didn't even get a sighting for the snowdrop. All right, let's go this way. Let's see Winston. All right, here we go. Hi, Winston. I've managed to find his tracks in the Redwood Forest. There is something mysterious about that place. I didn't see him, but I suspect that's where he's been hiding all this time. There were other tracks with those of Snowdrop. It could be the herd of horses that you saw with him when you first arrived in Heartside. I wonder what he's been doing in the forest. Anyways, I feel guilty for distracting you from the competition, but I know how important this is to you. Just don't let that take your mind off the championship. You're doing so well. You've almost completed the entire qualifying leg of the Star Championship. Just a few more to go and you can participate in the main events. You're right. I better be off. The next event starts shortly. Alright, and we get another key. Which I know we're definitely not going to have enough keys for today. But that's okay. But we did get two. Yeah, we got two minus the bonus that we got. Yeah, so I think we're going to do this one last competition and then we might end the episode here. And we're probably going to have to do it. Yeah, we'll have to do it with Ghost Pepper. So look at look at Ghost Pepper. She is a monster when it comes to these competitions. So let's do this. I am really excited. Uh oh, are we stuck? <gasps> no, don't tell me we're bugged. Okay guys, sorry about this, but I think we're going to have to end the video here because I just had a bit of a technical issue where for some reason I can't enter the competition. So we're just going to have to save it for the next video. So if you're still here and you've enjoyed the series so far, do give the video a like so that I know you are enjoying Star Equestrian. I know I've been having so much fun. And if you don't like the video but you like lightning, then maybe still give the video a like he's such a handsome boy he deserves all the attention he can get but i love our new horses i'm so glad we've got all this new tack to work with i'll probably upgrade it before the next video so that we're sort of good to go because it's kind of not fun watching tack upgrades to be honest um, but i don't mind showing it but look how handsome he is with the tack i put on on lightning although the the blanket could be better but i mean it's He's a fast horse, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video of Star Equestrian.